Welcome back, friends. More uh, Empire Boys playing Lego Star Wars. Coming at ya right exactly now. Um, okay, we're, we're, we've only got a couple more things find in here, I believe. Can't always map them. Um, got like, what is that? The destroy level. Uh, which I'm not worrying about the destroy levels for the time being. Um, okay, so we're as high as we can get right now. That's what she said. <laughs> You know, and also it's what a stoner said. I don't know, there's, there's, a, there's, I feel like there's a better joke than what I just said in there, but I don't know what else I can do about that. The rumor, uh, the rumor has it, all that kind of stuff wrong, right? Yeah, the rumor has it. All right, it was down, hidden down on the floor below. Uh, we haven't gone in there yet, so let's go, let's go down a couple floors and see what we can find. And we will hopefully get the last couple things here. I'm just really hoping that I don't have to go to a different planet. Um, for it, because we st we started to hear, um, the one guy who was all like giving us our little hint about stuff. Was it on this level? Or was it the next level down? Um, it was it was on this level. Oh wait, no. Oh, we need to go up a level. Okay, We're up two levels. Right? Oh man, I'm I'm already all turned around. Yeah, this was the one. Oh man, the the way they've got these maps kind of figured out. Yeah, that's there it is, there it is, that's the one, that's the one. So that's the floor it's on. So allegedly it's down in here. Yeah, it's gonna be in here. It's gotta be in there. Because we're down like one too far. Do we need to go oh wait, it, actually the easiest way to do this. Sorry, I'm like thinking out loud, just like isn't it fascinating to watch me? slowly figure something out it's like it's like watching the the apes in uh in space odyssey in 20 in 2001 space odyssey right you know where it's like you can just like slowly see intelligence dawning in me as i struggle and and eventually figure out how to do something that for most people is probably fairly simple um it's automatic it's moving me Without me really being in control. That was a little unnerving, but it's okay. Go ahead and grab the thing. I don't understand why Obi-Wan is continuing to... Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind right now. I'm going to control this thing. Okay, that works. Is that enough to get us up there? Uh, if you do your double jump, it will be. Obi-Wan! Driving me nuts, man. Losing my mind. Okay, there we go. But we'll figure out what's in here, and maybe this will also be where the like where where the stuff that I'm looking for to get that one up there is. Yeah, because we're gonna go ahead and be a droid in there. Um, it's gonna say that we should be 3PO to be cut in half, but I'm gonna be uh, B bait there, and we'll just go ahead and. Get all wheelie do. Oh, now he's hooking it. Boom, ba boom, ba boom. The robot's pretty violent. Cool. That's cool. That's how we like them, right? We like our robots when they can offer a little slapstick violence to us. Now that's what makes them funny and charming, or something like that, I guess. Um. Uh. Oh, we need to. Yeah, we really need to be. Uh, through CPO, don't we? All right, well, I guess that means there's only one thing for me to do, which is, I guess, do it this way. Ugh. Just ugh, with a side of ugh. Wait, hold on. What if I do this, and now we do this, and now we do that. There we go. That's, that's way preferable. That's how I want to do this. All right. Um, oh, gosh dang it. I always forget that, like, you need to just press it to use things. Holding it makes them blow up. I get the password. Oh, 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 oh. Password obtained. Nice. Alright, I'm assuming that's like the, the room that it's showing us the one that we need up there. Um, okay, we're gonna need Wicket there. But I also would like to... Oh gosh dang it, I didn't even hold it that time, you psycho. He just likes to break himself. Being the turret do for us, oh. A plank, plank. There we go. Alright. Cool. Uh, that means we can go ahead and 
go back to Obi Wan. And we know we we see the story about Obi Wan, but we never really get to see the story about his uh, about his unknown heir Obi Two. No, oh, I've always I've always been curious what happened to the second one. Like I feel like that's the story that that's the story that they're not gonna tell you. That's the story the Jedi wouldn't tell you. Okay, they don't want that embarrassment, right? They get all precious about their rules, and here we are. Anyway, that's a really dumb joke. Um, oh, come, Obi Wan, you are absolutely destroying my patience. There we go. Okay, like, dude. Okay, um, what did doing this achieve for me? Oh, that's just how I can get back up, I guess. There we go. Go ahead and jump. And jump. And go up. And then we go on here. Or you can just, like, not do the things that I'm trying to get you to do. That's cool, too. Okay, cool. Now we gotta go down and use the... Or go up and use the key that we just found, I believe. I think that's kind of the last little bit for us to do here. If we go here and just patiently do the, the uh, platforming, which as we've seen, as we've learned, it's, you know, I, I, I don't know. We'll see how Obi-Wan does it. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Everything's good. Everything's good. Ev everything's fine. We're fine. How are you? I, how many times have I gone to that joke well? You know, doing the doing the Han Solo bit when he's talking to the stormtroopers, right? I, I'm gonna do it at least a million more times. You know that's true. Playing Lego Star Wars, it's the perfect time to use that joke. If I can't use that joke now, when can I ever use that joke? Am I right or am I right? I'm right, exactly. That's right. I know. I know you said that I'm right. I know you did because I am right. I'm I'm right. In this one instance, not always, not universally, but right now, right now, I'm right. I'm so right that I'm using the word right in other contexts within the same sentence. It just accentuates how right I am. Anyway, I don't even remember what we were talking about at this point. Um, collecting up the studs. And we'll go get this guy his legs back. He deserves it. He's earned it. I only just suppose he's been without him, you know what I mean? I mean at least since the Death Star fell. But honestly, the timeline of Star Wars is a little like, no, oh, what on earth are you doing? No, get back here. What is happening? No, get back here. No, reassemble. The psychotic. I didn't even hold it. I just pressed the button. Use the thing. You lunatic. Yes, use the key. We need this one. Password accepted. All right, golly. Oh, we need to be... Guy, throw that, gr throw that grenade, and we can get our Kabir brick protocol apart. So there's your legs, champion. There you go. Look at him. I want to see him be reunited. Ah, oh, look at him. Ah, oh, he's so happy. You know he's happy. What a guy. C3PO. Ha! Get it, C3PO. I see what I did there. But do you see? Do you understand now, dude? Every other protocol droid in the world wants to be together. Why do you insist on ripping yourself apart? It just seems unhealthy and... I don't know. I don't think protocol droids have been put... Like, it have typically been given pain receptors, but still, it's like... It just, you know, that seems like something that they probably wouldn't want. Is like, all the pain and everything. Um, this is getting us our battle gear thing to follow, so I'm going to go ahead and... Follow where it wants me to go. I think it's probably gonna end up being a lot slower to like follow it than if I just kind of dive down. But at the same time, we can use this as an opportunity to keep getting more studs. Gotta get it, man. We need 48 million. We basically need 50 million. We're basically we're a little over a quarter of the way there at this stage, but not much. Not much more than that. So. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think about what's funny commentary. Oh, uh, for the first time in many years, I ate so much that I felt sick last night. Um, I, I, I behaved like an eight-year-old. 
uh, and it wasn't and it wasn't even because like oh this this like at least acceptably healthy meal is so tasty um, no it was it was pure sugar it was a sin there and I had to choose between a slice of cake and a cupcake for dessert um, and because I'm still in like hey man I ran a marathon and I met my goal of like four under four hours when I ran that marathon so I'm celebrating I'm still in that headspace which is like self-destructive and so because of that, when I was sitting there and I was looking between the slice of regular cake and, and a full big cupcake, I was like, uh, you know, I went, I went the, 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 the porque no los dos uh, option. And uh, I ate them both. I did. And I started feeling sick partway through. And gosh darn it, that didn't stop me. I didn't let it stop me. I, I finished. Um, so yeah, I, I ate way too much sugar and it made me feel sick. Like my stomach felt like it was going to pop. I was so full. And then I felt sick afterwards, um, and I, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use the word regret because the cake and the cupcake were both delicious, um, just absolutely incredible. I have such a sweet tooth, and so I was, I was, I, my tongue, and taste buds, really enjoyed that decision, um, but the rest of me was sitting there like, you know, this was, <sighs> there was a lot of questionable decision making, uh, that led to this, and. Um, like I say, I'm not going to use the word regret, uh, but I think I will say, wow, we're just going to go ahead and go right under the water there, aren't we? Uh, I will say that I'm going to do my best to, to not do that again, or try and keep that in mind and do, and, and keep in mind that I'm a huge culprit of the whole eyes bigger than my stomach situation. Cause I see tasty food. Like I am such a food motivated person. If I were, if I were a dog, I'd be that one that like, I will do every trick in the book just for a little treat. And then you give me my food. Like, I'd, I'd be that dog that has to have those, like, I'd have to be fed my meals in one of them Kong toys where, it, like, I have to play and tip the thing the right way and earn the food. Otherwise, I would eat it too fast and I'd, like, I'd, I'd give myself a bloat and I'd kill myself. Like, not like as in, like, a, I'm depressed, I'm killing myself. No, like, I would get myself, I would just eat so fast that my stomach would pop and I would die. That's that's who I am. I'm just the human version of that. Anyway, back from your scrap hunt, huh? Let's see what you got. Yeah, that seems like enough scrap to build a battling droid. Not to be confused with the battle droid. You understand. I don't have the lawyers for that kind of mix-up yet. <laughs> yep, fair enough. I got you. I hear you, Battle Gears boss. Uh, your next job is putting the little fella together. I'm sure this isn't your first time building something, so I'll leave you to it. Give me a holler when you're done. All right. I see our pieces are changing colors. Gotta love it. All right, all done. Got your scrapper all ready to rumble? Then let's get this party started. All right. Welcome everyone to another exciting round of Kif Beer's Battle Gears. There's one person here. Who's everyone? Oh, two people, okay. In that corner we have the reigning champion, the Junker from Jakku, weighing in at some amount of pounds. I've never actually checked. The, cat the Catastrophinator. I love that name. <laughs> There's something. There's something wonderful about how unassuming it is with the name the Catastrophinator. I thought she was clipping through the through the thing for a little while there. But nope, she the fence is just broken. Marry me. Aw, that's cute. Look at that, it's the love origin story. And in the other corner, our brave challenger, freshly built from the choicest scrap the Death Star 2 has to offer. I had to ask for a name, so I dub it Emperor Pain Patine. No, the Catastrophinator is better. Like, that one's not bad. It's got the pun thing going for it, but Catastrophinator is way funnier. Boo! Ouch! Okay. I don't like new things. <sighs> you know what, dude? Me too. I like the guy grooving in the background, too. He's just... He's having a great time. <laughs> What's your designator droid uh, control panel so the battle can commence? Alright. Um, yo, hey. Why are you the way you are, man? Come on. Over here. Are you gonna split? Are you gonna split in half? Are you capable of keeping yourself together? I'm not looking for half a droid right now. Okay. Ah! Bloomers, kabloomers. Oh no! I gotta get out. Oh, let's get out. Boom. Oh man, we're just we're creaming this guy. Whoops! Whoops! Whoops, there we go. Why does he get like a laser or something? This is ridiculous. Where's mine? Wee, yep. Got him. 
What is this? I mean, just call them back. Is he allowed, he's allowed to do that? Can I have backup? This seems unfair. I'm not cool with this, man. Seems like a little double standardy to me, but you know, it's whatever. Yeah, blow your own teammates up, loser. All right, and now we're just back at it. <laughs> I'm gonna say they sound like little like rats that we're fighting and beating up. Holding on by the skin of its teeth. Oh, is it? Is it? Would you say that it is? I would say that it's probably not so much. I think it's kind of getting its its little robot rump handed to it. Yeah, you're darn right. Uh, and the newbie's done it. Blah, blah, blah. Something. I don't know. Uh, okay, let's get Obi, Obi, Obi. What on earth just do, did we just do? Uh, that little droid of yours put quite a show. How'd you feel about turning pro? Sure, it'd be months on the road and you'd hardly see your loved ones, but think of the glory. Ha, I'm just kidding with you. There's no pro league. It's all just friendly local bot busting. Actually, I ought to start fixing up the fallen friends here. Thanks again for the show. All right, yeah, cool. We did it. Again, folks, okay. You have nothing else to say. All right, cool. That was, uh, that was a way to spend time. That's what that was. Uh, anyway, what do you got? Have we met? This is your first... Grrr, I'm sorry, I can't even say the word first or order without getting angry. What was I? Ah, yes, this is your one visit here. I, You know what? I can appreciate it. Not because I have trouble saying first. That's ridiculous. But I have said once before. Just because I think it's funny that we have, like, different things like that. Um, uh, Why are you... He's still kind of showing up as, in, as if he's got something fresh to say. But maybe we need to leave and come back. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's go ahead. Wait, hold on a second. I can just see. Wow, they kind of gave him some pit staining there, didn't they? His armpits. Oh yeah, he's got a little bit of armpit staining, dude. You got to do laundry. Like I understand you were living like a hermit for a while there, but no, let's not completely destroy our standards. I never understood Star Wars is like weird interpretation of things. Um, in terms of like future times and what that means for technology and stuff like that, like. I guess I get it. The whole idea is that there's going to be different people with, like, you know, different levels of affluence and everything. So I kind of get it. Uh, but at the same time, like, why are there so many people... When we have interstellar travel, why are there so many people that don't, like, even have water? That makes no sense to me. Like, okay, sure, maybe, you know, we want to have a discussion about, like, oh, well, like, what resources are actually available to people like it still doesn't make it easy to live in the desert when you have a, an entire galaxy at your fingertips why would you choose to live in the desert we're just talking about the poor people in the desert talk about even the rich people in the desert why would you choose that make any sense anyway if it wasn't for my grapple i never would have made it through that death star wreckage you can still use them even when you're falling let me tell you i was falling a lot when i was scavenging that place uh cool story i'm happy for you Seems a little. Aha! Here's our clue. Um, okay, so assuming that we've got them right here, so we've got three, two, four. Three, two, four is what we need. Um, I'm gonna since we're down here, I'm gonna break everything and get as many coins as we can out of it. Three, two, four. 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 And if that's not like if I accidentally put them in the wrong order, then we can just adjust them. We know that we need one, three, one, two, and one, four. And that means with only three of them, there's only like. If each one had three options, like three that you could do. Oh, excuse me. There's only so many combos you can do. Oh, wait, no, that's not what I wanted. There was, uh. There it is, I see it. There's like a way to climb up, and it's right here. Oh, okay. Jumps. Jumps. Gotta have jumps, babe. Gotta have the jumps. Alright, um... Do we want three? Oh, press the thing. Press the thing! Go. Three, two, and then we want this one at four. Thing. Press the thing. And press the thing. There it is. Would have taken us forever to just, like, force, like, brute force our way into that one. As a human, if we had like a, if we had like a, an AI little like thumbstick that we could put in there to brute force, it would have taken seconds. But I, I don't think as fast as an AI. Um. So get off my back. 
about it. Jeez, you know, like some people. Sorry, anyway. Um, what else is there to find? I want to know what's going on with this thing. Um, set, me, set my destination to that rumor. Show me, show me where that rumor is. It says it's right here. Okay, um, I guess he's just gone because we moved him. So I didn't know if it was going to be like, oh, well, we could go down into the cave or something. Oh, the game's just kind of glitchy and weird. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, we need a bounty hunter, don't we? Come here, Boba. Go. Grab the thing. There we go. Glittering Grotto. Glittering Grotto. Grab that Kyber Brick. Am I right? There it is. There it is. We got it. Got it. Oh, is this even interesting? Am I even fun to listen to when I'm just babbling on like this? Hard to know. Um, but like I keep saying, the good news is I don't do this for the money. I do this... I call it a creative outlet, but I don't even know if that's a fair interpretation. There's not a whole lot of creativity going on here. It's really just me, like I say, kind of babbling about whatever I feel like. Um, so it's, you know... Uh, let's go ahead and grab a shooty, shooty McShooter guy. Actually, I want to be Boba. 2,000 for the Kyber Brick. Okay, let's do this. Two, one, go. All right. Ah, uh, ah, uh, get it. Come on. Uh. Oh, that's the dead one, okay. Have to... Come on, give me more. There we go. Alright, yeah, we got it. We got it. We're good. We're good. Real hot shot coming in here. Wow, they gave us all kinds of time. They did not have faith in us being able to do this. But I'm going to keep doing this because we're getting some good... Getting some good cash for this. This might be a decent way to farm some cash if we're getting blue. Uh studs with each one. I guess we're not getting blue studs for each one. We're getting a lot of blue studs. Ah, uh, we might have exhausted our blue studs. There we go. Yeah, we crushed that. Nice. Okay. The anti-trooper. Complete every shooting, shooting gallery. Okay. <laughs> the anti-trooper, because we can actually aim. I like it. You know what? I, I will say, I really like that this game does as much tongue-in-cheek joking about Star Wars as it does. Um, I think that's, I think it's such an important thing when it comes to enjoying Star Wars is to recognize how ridiculous Star Wars is. Like, I, I, I love Star Wars. I am such a huge Star Wars fan. Um, always have since I was a kid. Uh, and, you know, it's, I, I do agree that the recent movies have not been up to snuff. It's just kind of been, like, each one kind of gets a little bit worse in its own way. Um, I, I recognize and admit that. Um, and it's fine. It's acceptable. Um, all right, let's see. So, if we want to go. Two. Three. The other one. Gone. Where's that? Wait, where's the last one though? Confused. One, two, three. We're like through the door or something? Do I need to be standing on the other one? Oh wait. Oh. Ah, yep. There it is. All right. So let's uh have three PO get over here. Let's start with that one because that's gonna be the hardest one to aim for, I think. Two, three, and four. There we go. Give me a thing. Yeah, no, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Um, and and but but the thing with enjoying being a Star Wars fan in general, like in some senses, it comes down to you have to have thick skin because people are gonna make fun of Star Wars, and that's fair. But I actually think what's even more important is rather than like you know having the thick skin, deal with people making fun of you. Kind of have to be able and willing to make fun of it yourself. Um, cause there's a lot of insanity, absurdity that comes with Star Wars. Uh, welcome back. You can help me again if you like. Prize isn't as grand this time, but hey, if you want to stun some fish, you're more than welcome. Oh, you were, like, actually had something to say about that, huh? 
kind of came up and started shooting fish. I didn't know there was actually someone running that gig. But yeah, with Star Wars, you, you, you gotta be willing to make fun of it. I mean, I guess I would say I live my life as someone who recognizes that, like, you're allowed to like anything you want, but you also have to be recognize that, like, no matter what you like, no matter what you're into, there are going to be people who are not into it, and everything, everything that humans do has something about it that is worth making fun of. Like, the reality of it is, humans, us humans, are ridiculous creatures, and just about everything we do uh, is, is, I would say, largely fair game to be made fun of. And the reason I say that is because when you think about the nature of humans and what we do, like, everything we do is just so made up. Like, the only natural things we do are eat, sleep, poop, and you could argue mating, but even then we've managed to turn that into, a, like, a weird human ritualistic thing. That it? I was convinced it was a stash of signed Darth Vader pictures. Not that I would have wanted them, but the museum in the village would have paid me big time for them. Oh, was that was that Marco? Okay, we found we found Marco. Um, well, here's the thing that's funny about that. You're all like it was nothing, uh, but it turns out it was something. I got it. Now it's mine. Now it's mine. You gotta have it. Mine, it's mine. You can't have it. It's all mine. I will keep it for myself. But yeah, everything us humans do, everything is made up. Like, that's that's the funniest thing about it. Like, you know, if you want to argue, like, oh, but, like, you know, there are real things that happen when it comes to, like, our psychology and, like, how humans, like, behave and feel about things. You know, it's like, okay, if that's, if that's, you, you can say fair cop, but even then, like, at the end of the day... Even if our feelings about them are real, it, it, what we're talking about is our feelings about, again, made up things. Humans, everything humans do is made up. Everything we do is made up. And because of that, everything we do is ridiculous. Everything we do is worth being made fun of. Uh, and so that is my thesis about why, uh, it's my thesis on why it's okay to make fun of Star Wars, even though I'm a huge Star Wars fan. <laughs> I got, I ended up taking a different much deeper, longer, more involved pathway than I was originally intended. You know, sometimes you just gotta recognize, you gotta take that second. You know, that's like, that's, that's, if I'm gonna talk about this being my, ooh, hey, what do you got? I don't know what this is for. I don't know what it does. You, okay. you found the key card. Well, enjoy your visit to the museum. It seems to have some tidying up to do. But to self, don't let guests find keys themselves. All right, um, well, I didn't even know I was looking for it, but I found it. Um, where do I use this thing? Up over here, maybe? Looks like it's probably where it is. Ah, yeah. Insert. She said. Um, what do you got for me? You found the key. Great. Oh, wait. That means I need to work now. Hmm. Didn't think this one through. Yeah, you dummy. Oh, okay, he's just going to say it. Go in here, then. Presumably, there's a key upper brick. In here. But yeah, it's like, okay, so if I'm going to argue that me making these let's plays is a creative outlet uh and and it's something that i actually genuinely have been wanting to practice and be better about um but it's like using these let's plays as an opportunity for me to uh to just kind of talk about things and express thoughts that i have i guess that's like the creative outlet part of it is i'm just sitting here wondering exploring thoughts and the reason i record them is because it's fun to do it. It gives me a reason to talk out loud rather than just like spinning my gears in my head. Cause like, there's something interesting about the fact that, gosh, what on earth is that? Okay, right, um, take care of this. Go. I don't know what that really is. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. So it's like those things aren't really having anything to do with finding stuff. Got it. Okay. Um, but yeah. Oh, I, you know, I just, I like sitting here talking about stuff and I don't know, maybe some people will be out there having fun listening to me talking about stuff. I don't know. That's like, I, I guess a lot of it for me too is I'm a big fan of Let's Plays and maybe that's me dating myself a little bit. Like when you think about, you know, the fact that Let's Plays are not or what's considered to be chic or in vogue. Well, I want that. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. 
What do I what do I do with this? What's the, what's the good of this thing? Where does it go? Um does it go on the fence post or I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to do. One there. Oh. Oh, I see there's a few of them though. Alright, I'll 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 keep looking around and I'm sure I'll find where it's supposed to go soon enough. Um I wonder if uh the champion uh that was there that I could talk to, I wonder if he has anything that or she does. Or back to I remember. Is that seed I saw around here for our crops? Farmer will certainly be looking for it. Oh, okay, so we gotta find the cr the farmer. Get rid of your fire. Smokey the bear would be disappointed in you. Smokey would be disappointed, and so and frankly, so am I. But yeah, no, I I really like watching let's plays. It's for me, it's one of the most relaxing ways to spend like an evening, whatever I'm getting up to, whether it's playing games, whether I'm cooking dinner or whatever. Uh, I actually really enjoy watching Let's Plays because it's just like, it's like being part of a group. It sounds so sad when I say it this way, but it's kind of like being part of a group uh, when you're hanging out on your own. You know, um, like I said, it sounds real sad and kind of pitiful when you say it out loud, but like we all have periods when we're just like on our own. Especially if you're like me and you live alone. And just because you live alone doesn't mean you want to be alone at that moment. Um, which is extra kind of funny uh, to have me say that. Because I'm very much an introverted person. I actually really do like having alone time. But it's like having that bit of background noise. And for me, Let's Plays are fun because it's about something that I like. But I don't always necessarily have a whole ton of time to do. Playing games. Right? Like, I love playing games. But I don't always have the ability to be playing games. Uh, at any given time. So it's nice when I can just have like other people playing games around me and I can kind of enjoy the game passively while they're doing it and listen to their commentary. And sometimes the commentary is fun because it's like wacky and out there. A lot of Let's Players go for like the high energy, loud volume type stuff and you know, more power to them. But some of my favorites are just when it's nice and chill and that's kind of what I'm going for. So it's like really when I'm sitting here making videos, I'm just making the things that I love. Um, I need to find one more seed uh, to go into the farmer's area, and that's what I'm going to try and do here. I want to find the one last seed so we can get the uh, whatever's going on with our farmer Joe there um, figured out. And then once we do that, we'll call it an episode. We are kind of at time, but I don't want to just like abruptly end it. We're working on stuff here. We're actually working on a thing right now, you know? Oh, we need uh, that, but I don't know if that's actually what I want to do right now. Um, I want to find... Where that last might be. Um, gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe it's over in here. Yeah, it's gotta be around here somewhere. It's gotta be. It's just gotta be. I'm just trying to think about where in the village I've actually already been. Because um, they tend to like try and spread these things out rather than clustering them too much. So it's gonna have to be around like in this area. Where I haven't really explored and cleared out the area yet. I, know, I've, I have been here, though. I. Oh, yeah, because we're right back to the... Hold on, do you, does he have any... I wonder if they have any hints for me. Hey. Our cause is not by choice, friend. I had seeds to plant, but they were blown away by the strong winds. Soon there will be no more food for us or our backs. These are two of the seeds. Okay, yeah, so we found two of them. There's one more out here somewhere. I still would think that it would have to be somewhere around here. Try and think about what's available. Have for me. Oh, we would scavenge everything there was to scavenge, but it seems we missed that glowing brick up there. Strange. Alright, um. Oh, I don't know why I got the purple there, but I'm not gonna complain about that. That's. And we're getting close to about a third of the way done. Oh, actually, no, I think we're past a third of the way done collecting what we're gonna need for that one thing there. Um. Is this? Where's the flim flam and seed? It's got to be around here. It's just got to be. Oh, I feel like we're getting a little far away from the here. No seed in there, is there? Nope. Okay. I'm gonna break all the food. Take this food. Got him. 
Um, there's a kyber brick there. What is this? Is she like inside of here? Nope. I right, don't 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 mind my yawning. Not bored, I swear. Sometimes you get a little tired, you know. Especially when you've been busy doing stuff all day. But like, are they trying to suggest that maybe it just like blew away further up here? I wouldn't think so. That doesn't seem like the way they would do things. I feel like they usually try to keep things clustered pretty close, pretty close and like obvious, so you can find them. Cause like, the thing that's so critical to remember with like the Lego Star Wars games is that these are largely made for a more children audience than me. I'm just I'm just a dude who never really properly grew up is all. It's different. Um, Cuz it's like cuz like the thing is I I I'll I'll give myself a little cr bit of credit here. I'll go ahead and admit that I'm smarter than your average child. Uh but if we're talking about like more mature eh eh no, I'm not, not really confident saying that one. Um, okay. I'm a puzzle to solve in there. That's not what I want. I want the seed. The last seed. I, don't know, I, might, I might be at a point where I'm going to look it up. I don't want to sit here forever. We're already six minutes past the episode. I'm, oh, I was talking about maybe doing longer episodes. I'm not planning on it, though. I think ultimately I don't think I'm going to do that, but. Um. All right, forget it. I'm going to look it up. I'm gonna look it up. I'll look it up between episodes and we'll start the next episode with me actually knowing where I'm going and what I'm looking for. So, uh, yeah, so I guess until then, thank you so much for joining me. Love and appreciate every one of you. Uh, go, um, I feel like there was like a, some good advice that I had in there. Like, oh, you know, here's, here's a good one. Um, talking about, uh, uh, you know, me and my motivations for doing things and stuff. Just do the things you like doing and don't stress about. You know, if you, if you have the freedom to anyway, I understand everyone's circumstances are a little different, but like, do the things you love doing and don't be too worried about whether, oh, excuse me, my apologies, whether or not like everyone around you is as into it as you are. Like if you're having fun, that's a perfectly legitimate reason for doing anything that you want to do. So just do the things that are fun uh, for you, enjoy doing them, and don't don't worry about if you have a big audience or anything like that. Just have fun doing what you like doing. That's that's a, a noble pursuit in life, I would say. Um, but at any rate, love you. Bye.